What is going on everyone? It's Ultimate Spy 53 here, and welcome to another episode of Reviewed. Reviewed number 92. And today I'm going to be reviewing the movie Storks. So what did I think of this movie? Well, I actually liked it a lot. I'm not my favorite, but very very funny actually. It had a lot of co comedy in it. Uh, a lot of, lot of you know, funny jokes, and I was surprised by how interesting it was, because you know, it was not one of, I don't know, those traditional animated movies from a traditional company. It's actually a, I think it's a completely Sony-based uh, company. I don't even know what what, uh, what company it was from. I think it was some kind of animation group that made this uh, particular movie. But it, it's overall a really, quite a funny movie, and it's, it's goofy, it's silly, it's very interesting and overall it's a not a bad movie i, I actually I, I liked it a lot so basically the idea of the movie is it's like you know the, the concept of of uh, storks with babies and like you know with the if the like you know the, the, the you know storks used to deliver babies which is a you know i think it's like a mythological thing or it's like a, one of those you know concepts uh original concepts from uh, stories is the story she used to deliver babies, even which is a stupidly weird idea. Like I guess that the mom, that the, the mother doesn't give birth, so they 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 consort to to storks, which is a weird concept. But uh, although it's it's been done before in like in like, you know in storybooks, it's a weird concept. But and I and I, I gotta say that the animation style was actually really good. I I I liked it a lot. It's it's not that it's 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 like you know different from the other companies out there like you know DreamWorks, Disney, Sony. I, I don't even know if this was Sony. It, it, it didn't actually say it was, but uh, but it it was a you know not not DreamWorks, not Pixar, not Disney, and, and none of those companies that make the traditional animated movie. But it it was a I liked the animation style. It was a very very cute animation style. It made the you know the it, the characters look really good. Very you know cartoonist like because it's it's a lot, a lot, a lot of well I I'm only saying that because you know a lot of a lot of companies like Disney, Pixar, and and DreamWorks they're not as cartoony. They they they're more really realistic animation, but this one was you know very cartoony and it was it was funny it had a lot of a lot of funny in it and it was also about family um, which I liked a lot. But you know it, it's the it's the idea of, of this like this this corporation where they used to deliver um, babies like they used to make babies which, like you know the, the, like where did how how to store deliver babies while well, they made them in, in like a factory it's super weird but that was something they did and it's it's a it's a cool concept, but it's also just weird. <laughs> and so, like, like the the head of the head honcho of the of the, of the corporation doesn't want to, like that to happen anymore. He doesn't want the babies to meet me anymore. So he basically shuts down the the uh, the idea of the company and starts doing like package deliveries. And that's the whole thing of the company now is it's only going to deliver babies because I think I think the, the the reason why is because there's this girl, this is 18 year old girl, a Tulip, who's she's pretty cute and she's you know, orange haired and like they call they call it red hair. I call it red hair because it's not red hair; it's orange hair. Come on, people, get it right. It is, and it's like it's like when they point out this is the problem I have with like you know with 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 a movie or a, a TV show or a, a real life or anything where they point out you know someone with, with orange hair and it's red. It's like how is that red? How is that red? How does it look anything like it's red? It, it isn't. It's not red. But basically, she when she was younger, like when she was a baby, she didn't get delivered, and this other uh, stork wanted her, wanted wanted her to himself, and uh, it basically caused that to stop product, you know, the production of babies and make you know, stork, you know, storking babies not a thing anymore. And it, it's actually um, an interesting idea, but also the yeah, idea, you know, j j just the whole I the whole thing about it is is interesting and that's why it's a fun it's a it's a it's a you know a, a good movie in terms of how you know did it how it, it uh it did but basically uh, this 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 little boy uh wants basically wants a little brother himself because his mom, his parents are both like workaholics they're so kind of imagine like Coraline, how how her parents were treating her. They didn't even they were so busy with their garden catalog, they didn't have any time for for Coraline. Same idea with this movie is this boy. He wants a bit. He wants. He, he's so bored, and his parents won't, won't pay attention to him, and because they're so busy like you know working and stuff that he like he wants to. It's like oh well this isn't working out. So I want I want you know a big brother who you know like he 
he decides to, you know, get, 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 get a mail to him by, by the Storks, which are currently not in, not in business anymore. But um, the interesting thing about that is, is unlike Coraline, the, the parents eventually do interact with a kid. I mean, it's, 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 it, I kind of take inspiration from that because that's something that, that happened during that movie. And it's interesting. It's really interesting. And it's also the, the, the determination of, of a, a little boy who wants to basically get, a, you know, he, he, he wants so badly to have a, have a, have a brother that he makes this, like, it's like this pipe machine or like, you know, this like slide and, and it's all the, I mean, it, it doesn't end up being used because he didn't, he did not not only does he not realize that the Storks aren't, don't in business anymore with the baby delivering, but also, um, that they don't deliver, like, like, they don't, they don't use the chimney or whatever, uh, they use, they, they use the front door, which is really, which is interesting, but, uh, basically, I, I, I think how it is, is, is the, is the, the boy sends, sends a letter to the, the store company, basically, without, without knowing that, that they're not doing babies anymore, he eventually, somehow or another, by, by actually really cool, you know, time lapse, that the, the letter gets to the company, and goes to, the, to the, like the male place where uh, Tulip, who's the who's the girl uh, working there, the orange hair girl working there, and basically she accidentally puts the letter through the baby making machine instead of like the other thing, which which is the which is where it was supposed to go. And I'm going into the letter into the uh, into the the uh, the letter the letter machine, and that that causes the letter to turn it into a female baby with bright pink hair. Um, which is a very, you know, it's funny, but it's also really cute. But, <laughs> anyway, uh, basically they, they, they have to they have this, this long journey where they have to get the baby with the help of, uh, this stork, this, this stork who has to, like, the original idea was, was he has to fire her, but, like, he couldn't fire her because he couldn't say a word or whatever. And so they have to go on this long journey to actually get the baby delivered. And on the way, they go on a, a big adventure. It kind of reminded me, I felt like a lot of you know, those animated movies where they go on a big adventure and they have, a, have a, you know, a journey and stuff, which is really cool. Uh, but I think my favorite, you know, part about this whole movie is this concept um, where they interact with these wolves that basically want to eat the, the baby. They, they want to eat it, and after, you know, a while, and I, you know, it's a quite, a, quite a funny little, little uh, scene. They escape the wolves, but... The weird, the really, really funny thing about that I found that I uh, that I discovered while while watching the movie was the wolves. They they, they the way they they work together is they they form. So basically, the lead wolf he he's like he's for like he asks them to form into things. So we got like a, br a really really realistic bridge, a minivan, a submarine, a plane which fails, um, a boat. And the, the, oh, I will say that the minivan was the, was the most like weird. It was the weirdest thing ever because it was, it's literally each part, each 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 like you know vehicle, if you want to call it that, that they form. It's made entirely of wolves, <laughs> which I found really funny because they'll, they'll, they'll be like they'll be like the the bridge and they'll form the bridge. It's actually really cool. And then you have the submarine where they they because they, they're underwater and the wolves, they have to come up for air. <laughs> so they like like they they would like. They would go like this, would go, and then they would up for air, and then go back down, and then they'd be like, and then of course you have the, the boat, or, yeah, the boat, or I don't know, I think it, yeah, was it? No, I think it was, yeah, it was the boat, it was the boat, it was actually really cool how they uh, formed the boat, and then basically they have the plane, was it? Yeah, the plane that fails, you, like, it, it, it forms, and then it just stops, and then, what else was there? Oh, there's the heart, there, there's a... There's a little thing during the movie where where uh, where they finally get away or whatever, and they form a broken heart and it just breaks and it's hilarious. But there's a real there's a other really cool thing. I mean, the voice acting itself was actually fairly decent. I I like the voice acting. I I I like the concept in general of the movie. The, the, the story um, of the movie is actually really good. I, I like the plot. It's a very original story. Not like not like you know, Disney Pixar. In DreamWorks and Sony, for that matter, they or or even Illumination Entertainment. I forgot that one. That's another another studio. But it had a it had a very original story that was never. I don't think this ever done done before. I don't think it's. I know Disney, Pixar, and all the other studios are are known for their original stories, and this was a very 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 different story to tell. Um, because I don't think it's ever. I don't think it was ever based out of a book or a. Well, I mean, it was like told in in stories before about the idea, but I don't think it's this is the first. This is the first time it's actually been done. Which I really 
thought was funny. But also, ju just the comedy itself, and it was really good. They had, like, a, they had StorkCon, which is a, it kind of, actually, it, it felt exactly like Stark, was it, Expo in Marvel. It acted exactly like that, um, and it was actually really good. There was a, there was a lot of funny moments in it. There was a, there was a cute moment where the baby is sleeping, the uh, female baby that, that apparently the, the uh, character of, of Tulip names Diamond Destiny, which is a really funny name. I don't know why, where it came from, actually, but it's just a random name that pops up in, the, in their head. And that was a really funny thing about the movie. But during that sequence, you have the baby sleeping, and you have these penguins who are weird. They're just so weird. Like, there's even a scene where it's like, oh, the baby can take care of the penguins, and it's... And it's like, oh, yeah, they can't because if they get a sh eaten by a shark, like a, like a shark, which I, or a whale, or I don't know what was. I think it was a shark. And it was really funny because basically <laughs> you have them kind of like fighting the, the the penguins, but they have to be really quiet about it because the baby's sleeping. So they have to, they, they're fighting extremely quiet, and it's hilarious to look. It's just, it's hilarious. It's actually, I think this is one of the funniest movies that's not a Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks, or or Sony or Illumination Entertainment um, film, or any other, I think I named, I think I named all, all the studios that make animated movies. But it, it was really, it was really funny how that was a thing. So I I, I thought that was really funny, um, the fact that they did that. That was that was a great moment. And let's see what what else. There was some other good parts about the movie that I really enjoyed. I, I, I mean, I think I've said this before, but I, I love the animation design. I thought it was a really unique way, unique animation uh, design. I don't, th I don't think I've ever done, seen, seen a, a movie by this company. So the only thing they have made in the past is like a movie. I, I looked it up, you know, with editing, of course. And the only thing that they, they've recently done is like a movie. So this is a completely different studio that I've never actually seen movies from before. Besides that, uh, I didn't even know they made it, but. Yeah, I, I thought it was really quite funny. I like the the concept. It's a really funny concept, and just the comedy itself was really great. Um, just just what they did with the movie. I don't actually remember all of the comedy in it. I don't remember it really much of what because I, I can't. I, I don't remember. I can't remember everything about a movie. But what I can say about about the uh, the end of the movie, um, and I know this is kind of spoiling it, but it's been well over a year since it came out, so I think it's okay. But at the end of the movie, there's a, a part where, basically, to stop the the head stork, the hunter, who is voiced by Beast, I'm not, I'm, I'm literally not kidding. He's voiced by the same actor who played Beast in X Men Three, basically, Kyle Sugarmer. Well, he only played that for one, that one movie, but still, he was in that movie, and he played, he in this movie, he played the, the lead, the lead stork honcho hunter, who was basically against bait, the you know, be, be making in the movie, and. He he has to like he ends up at the end of the movie he ends up basically one like coming to you know going as so far as to destroy the entire factory and basically it's up to Tulip and the the uh, other stork who is named Junior and which they actually form a, a, a very strong bond and interestingly enough they, they form a bond because they have to go on this adventure and basically they they get they they send all of the like the, the million letters that they have. In, in storage that they haven't bothered to do anything with because of the fact that they went, they, they stopped producing the stork baby thing and so they basically that they that those letters get you know get made up into like a million different babies all of them of different you know nationalities black white and different colored hair which I actually found really interesting about the movie was the different styles of hair they had you know curly straight all and then also the different colors of hair which, which is really cool. And that, that was a really, really interesting part about the movie, was, was that exact thing. But, yeah, I, I really liked it. And there's also the very end of the movie when, they, when the Sorks finally decide that they should go back to baby delivering, um, which is such a weird concept because it's like, there, there's a point in the movie where little boy, Nate, I think it was, yeah, Nate, he actually asks them, his parents, where he came from, like, like how did I get here kind of thing, and... It's so weird to, to think about it like that because you know I don't I, I think it the, the, the whole concept in general what was a you know has had been a thing for a while but never really in this way and so it was so weird to see that and of course they deliver the baby then it's just so weird because it's like why couldn't the, the, the moms just do it I mean there was a 
that, that, that actually the last scene where they where all the ladies get delivered was actually really weird because it does involve a you know the, the actually it does involve an LGBT uh, family it involves two two dads and a baby which is so weird but eh, 25th century it's, it's it's a thing now it's gonna happen it's gonna pop up in, in most movies now it's just gonna happen it's gonna pop up whether you like it or not <laughs> but a lot of a lot of the movie was just pure comedy it was a comedy it was so funny like it, it, it's really it's quite funny i think i think my favorite part about the movie and my, my favorite part in general is the wolves the wolf when they when they make the wolf pack that is so funny but also because she is an orphan and they, they discover that they re-encounter jasper who is this, this quite fat stork who is the reason why she is an orphan and they, they basically rediscover her, and he like comes to apologize to her for, for leaving her, and you know, keeping to himself, and then leaving her, and then ca causing her to work at the factory, basically, something like that. And she eventually gets to meet her family, which is kind of a Harry Potter Easter egg, if you want to call it that. Not really, but it it kind of it makes you laugh when you think about the Weasleys because they're like all they're this entirely orange-haired family. I know, like all they're red-haired, they're orange. How is that red? <laughs> It, it, it's orange. It's it's not red. It's orange. I don't care what, what the British say. I don't care what, what us Americans say. It is orange. Whether you like it or not, it's orange hair. And people who say red hair, come on, stop it with the with calling it red hair. It is not red. <laughs> like seriously, at all, it is. There's a very much a difference between red hair and, and orange hair. <laughs> Especially the colors. She, she basically gets to re reunited with her family, and it was not, not only a really cute moment, but also all of her family has orange hair. All of them do. There's even a cat that has orange hair. It was it was funny. Just just seeing the the fact that she wants that she wants to see her family again is really um, interesting. And also the journey they go on with Junior is actually really interesting and funny. I also like the vo the voice acting was really good. I, Danny Trejo, who I really was was like I I the moment that I realized what that that was like him and like oh my god that's him that's Danny Trejo because I recognized the the, the voice of him because he's this. He's this American actor who is like a Mexican descent. His 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 voice sounds very Mexican, which is weird. But like he he's American, but he's Mexican. His last name is Mexican. It was it was a lot of a lot of a uh, a lot of really uh, great moments in the movie. And I I really thought it was a funny movie. It's it was funny. It was a good movie, although it didn't score very high. It, it was in the 60s, something like that. I, I don't I don't really know what it was, but still, really good movie in terms of the comedy. I'm not saying it's a great movie, but it, it's it's certainly one that I I am glad I didn't see in the theater because it just eh, I, I didn't like love it, but it was it was enjoyable and I, I thought it was had some some funny characters in it and some great comedy, uh, especially from a lot of all of, all of the storks that were in it and just the concept in general was really cool about the about storks you know they, they used to deliver babies but they don't anymore and this this boy's his his the, his determination to you know get a big, a big, you know, a, a big brother, which ends up not happening, although the baby sister he gets ends up having, you know, ninja moves or whatever, which is, which is hysterical, but, yeah, I, I really liked it, it, it was good. I, I, all I can say about that is, is it, it was, it was enjoyable, it's funny, it's some actually very, very good animation in terms of, you know, most animation studios that make movies, not a, I think this is the first type of animation, I think, that besides, the Lego Movie. This is the only one I've seen of 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 Warner a Warner made animation. I mean, they make they make like Looney Tunes and stuff, but this is the first like animated movie. Um, not the that's not the Lego Movie. But anyway, I I I can say that the the rating the rating system. I'd say it could be nine out of ten. You know, that, that's a pretty good score. I think it wasn't perfect, but it was funny. It was had a, had a very good animation style, and I, I enjoyed that. It had some good voice acting. It had a had a character that I really admired a lot because she was cute. <laughs> Yeah, Tulip was a very cute girl. I always like humans in animation, like anima animated humans. Animals, I get tired, I'm kind of tired of that. I get, I, I'm honestly getting tired of the an animated movies that are all anamorphic. No, I don't say I hate them. I'm just saying that I don't. I'm not a big fan of them. I more, I more enjoy the ones that are about humans. And if they have animals in them, that's great. But I like this. This is a very, you know, a very original story. Um, it was a weird story, but it was very original. And that's why it was it was good, but uh, yeah, nine out of ten for for that movie, and it it, it uh, it's pretty darn good. Um, I enjoyed it, and I think yeah, you should check it out if you want to. Uh, I came out last year, 
think it was mid-September, something like that. I don't even know when it came out. Something like that. Anyway, yeah, it, it, it was good. It, it was very funny. Very funny. Especially the, the wolf, the wolf pack thing. That was, that was hilarious. <laughs> Just literally wolves forming thing, like, like, turning into, like, things. Kind of like the fish from Finding Nemo, if you want, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, that does it for this review of Storks. Very good movie, in terms of animation, of, of comedy and animation, but not, not, well, not a perfect movie, and not, not one of the best animated movies of all time, but certainly one that's it's funny and enjoyable and I'd recommend it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Reviewed. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. I really do appreciate the support. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe to become a spy for more episodes of Reviewed and other series I do, as well as other great content. And I'll be back next time with another episode. Alright, see ya. Thank you.